All right, essentially what we have here is a little circuit I've uh, devised to uh, do a comparison test of these three different uh, alarm lights. This is the LX60 with the uh, red lens and can also be employed for the uh, LX100. It has exactly the same uh, shaped lens mold but uses a 100 watt bulb and a flasher. In this instance we wanted to show these lights uh, flashing so you get an idea of how bright they are both indoors and outdoor. Uh, this is powered by uh, 120 volts uh, running through a little uh, timer relay circuit which is going to basically flash them all on and off at the same time. The light bulb on the left is an incandescent bulb. The light bulb for the alarm on the center is an LED bulb and the light bulb on the right is a halogen bulb. The two on the left are rated at uh, 60 watts. The one on the far right is actually a 72 watt bulb but with 100 watts of uh, brightness. Now we're going to power these up and you'll get to see what they look like. Before I do, I just want to kind of show you the ambient light in the room. This is our conference room. And as I walk up here with the light, you can see we've got some uh, fluorescent and some incandescent lighting above us. This is a pretty brightly lit room, but it is indoor conditions. Come back down to the lights. And now I'm going to uh, plug this little test circuit in and see what happens. I've got it on a slow flash. There you can see the brightness of the lights as they flash on and off. Here's another angle showing the lights. You can see we've actually got a door behind us there with uh, some light coming through. The wood is polarized and diffuse light that's coming through. This is still basically indoor lighting. But you can see that even against the lighter background there that uh, they show up very well in these conditions. Of course now from this angle the halogen is actually the one on the left this time. And you can see it's slightly brighter because it is, uh, like I said, 100 watts apparent output. The wood only actually consumes 72 watts of power. Right now, we're outside and actually subdued daylight, kind of cloudy daylight, just to give you an idea what they look like on the outside. I was hoping to do a sun test, but we'll have to probably wait for a little better weather. But anyway, here we are. I'm standing about so less than 10 feet away, and you can see the lights are easily seen. If we pull back now to a position about 30 feet away from the uh, alarm lights, even from this distance you can see that they're still very clearly visibly blinking uh, and uh, very bright. Close in for a better look. Alright, here we have the view from about 10 feet away in direct Florida sun. Just to give you an idea of uh, the fact these are indeed daylight visible. Here we have the view from uh, 30 feet away. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see uh, that the lights are indeed visible. Here we have the view from 50 feet out. Again, under the very bright at the moment Florida sunlight. It's a direct light. All right, we're actually about 100 feet away at this point. All right, at this point we're, uh, I'd say approximately 200 feet away from the lights. You can still see that they're quite visible. And we have bright sunlight. You can see a shadow underneath the uh, table there and also coming off the railing from the uh, loading ramp. And it is indeed full sunlight. That concludes this test. Thank you.